Good afternoon, guys. In this video, I will show you how to expand your unified networking club hard drive when you are running out of space. Because the original one, it comes with a very short hard drive, which is 20 gigs. But when you will start to work with your very scalable and big labs, yeah, it's, it, it should be increased. So what we have to do is uh, how to do this. So I have the my unified networking machine, which is running. Uh, this one, yeah, it's uh, and the first step. Let, let me grab my scratchings. So it's a stop UNL machine. Okay, I'm going to power off it. Shut down, guys. So, and as you see, I have it's a single hard drive which is 20 gigs. And plan your your size. I recommend to do this the one time and the bigger disk to allow. If if you can allow it at 200 gigs, yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, it's in, in servers, it can be half terabyte or terabyte yeah it's even no, no need so much yeah, it's uh, plenty enough if you can allow this is a for super super high uh, lobbing on unl we we have it's uh, the biggest i uh, remember the largest disk was about 300 gigs yeah it's about if you are a, some some regular user it should be enough if you will choose some 150 yeah it's or 100 in my case i will use that i'm i will add the new disk which will be actually how much how much space I have to do it. So I'm saying that I will allow maybe I have no space. Mm. No, it's plenty enough. Yeah, it's 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 all right. So it's I'm going to add absolutely new disk. So add new hard drive and plan resources. Okay, the machine is stopped and I'm going to add new hard drive. The hard disk next is by default. Yeah, it's a SCSI and recommended. Yeah, it's I'm going to next. Uh, next, create a virtual new virtual disk, okay, and I'm giving to 100 gigs, okay, and store a single file. This the similar similar adding of the hard drives will be on ESXi as well. Yeah, so I'm going to next, finish, and it's creating a disk is added. As you see, the new hard drive is added. Okay, now the next step. Hard drive is added, and the next step we are going to boot UNL machine. Okay, I'm doing this. Power on. No need tools. It can take a little bit more time because the new disk is added. Yeah, it's in your machine, still don't know about it. You can see the two disks appeared here hard drives. The yeah, machine is booting. And my recommendation, once machine is booted, grab your putty or CRT and get in into your machine. SSH to 192.168.1255.20, I guess, right? Uh, probably it was 20. Yeah, accept and save. And the password is UNL. In this case, the COD root password, okay? No. Oh, root, sorry. Root and the UNL, right. Okay, mm. what happened? Connect root now. What happened? Yeah, it was missed. I rebooted the machine, and now everything, now everything is fine. So I mean. Yeah, it's, it should not happen with what you saw in it previously. Yeah, it's, uh, that was my fault. That's in a SSH session. So we are in, we are in, and the next steps. This instruction I will post below the video yeah, how to do this. The first thing, we have to check which letter is assigned for new disk. And I'm going to copy this first command and pasting here. And you can see that my case in my machine, it is SDB, not an SDC, right? And disk dev SDC here, it's just an example. And you see in a real machine, it is my disk SDB. That's mean we will expand and use SDB here. So uh, let's configure it now. You're going to see the second line, which should be enter it. And you have to check this one, not this one SDB it should match with your SDB so it's already here right 
Uh, it's okay, let me let me a little bit change here. Yeah, it's a disk, okay. And as we know, it is SDB and SDB here. It's, uh, that's why I'm going to copy this command, right? It can be other guys. If you if you did before some some exp expanding of the disks, this letter can be C or or D even. Yeah, it's and that's why the follow your your letters SDB or SDC. In my case, it is SDB. So I'm going to copy this command. Yeah, it's me copy it. Yeah, that's good. Warning invalid flag, but it is it will be corrected to the right. That's fine. And now look at this. This as well should be your B and the number one PVC create. We are creating the new disk. Okay. Successfully volume is created and we extending as well. Follow this letter. It not should not be a C. It is B. I'm copy paste. Right. Successfully extended and now in this point do you remember that we added 100 gigs yeah it's you can add it's just the 40 yes but i'm going to add the full 100 that's how it's i'm going to resize this disk which we added and i'm saying lv extend okay good resize it and the last command left this one Ctrl c and paste and we are done uh, if if to check and df minus h and you minus h and you can see that available now is a 100 gigs yeah it's actually the size is 116 yeah it's a, it is 120 yeah it's because something is used but we added a very large volume now inside of the this UNL machine it will be used for you yeah it's and if you are going to this machine and status you can see that the three percent is status of disk usage it is the same like here three percent usage right perfect I hope it was informative for you and thank you for viewing.